All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're gonna do another whipping chat here. All right. All right, so Diamond Art Club, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. All right. All right, so square, 22 by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. 42 colors and four ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis and anything under 150 DMC or color code is considered an AB. And they're just an iridescent type of uh, drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. All right, so how's it going? <laughs> Got my hair cut. So how was today's big event? And I saw that uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was available on Blu-ray. So I grabbed that. I went to Walmart and grabbed that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the rest. Of I don't have a vast majority of the Marvel Universe movies, but Doctor Strange is kind of cool. So, I just checked it out. Yeah, I'm not heavy into Marvel, but yeah, I do like some of the superheroes. Thor was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen like the first phase kind of Iron Man and Captain America and that uh, a couple times now, but yeah, it it's nice to see Doctor Strange. <laughs> so yeah, I just grabbed that really quick. I had to look for it for a bit. <laughs> I'm like, didn't this come out? I wasn't sure if it had come out. I saw it advertised once. Yeah, I guess the price of Disney Plus went up or something, or is going to go up. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> Disney's going broke or something? <laughs> like, oh my god. Anyway, I yeah. Bought a Blu-ray copy of this Doctor Strange, so we have a... I think we have a Blu-ray player still. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully PS4 plays Blu-rays or something. Oh. Well, <laughs> figured it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right, but anyway. Hope your day's gone fine. It's a nice day. Wasn't too warm or anything. It was sunny all day. But yeah, it's really chill. I guess Pokemon Journey is just another season for the Pokemon franchise, like the anime the 25th season or something, 24th, 25th season of the show. So, yeah, it's just another story arc for the franchise. Uh, just a heads up, just in case the uh, bell starts barking. Yeah. <laughs> in case you hear barking. I do have the back door open because I'm here. My brother's house. Uh, sleep here tonight and then, yeah, tomorrow my, they're supposed to come home from Paris or whatever. So we'll see. Yeah, I just have to 
get my car service tomorrow afternoon. So I'll just take Fellowship of the Ring with me. Read it at the dealership. As I just sit there and wait for them to do it. Just easier. <laughs> Where do you want me to drop you off? And then, ugh, it's just, no. Good, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I just grabbed my spare service key from my bedroom before I left the house today. Left my parents' house today. <laughs> I just give Honda that service department that key. So, best case scenario, I just get an oil change at the most and whatever else they're doing, but you're going to notice that I don't have an exhaust system. <laughs> Mufflers in the shed at my parents' house and uh, the part in between the muffler and the catalytic converter or whatever. Yeah, uh, corroded. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just very creative. Probably list all the stuff that's missing from my car. All in the best condition. I don't know, just want my oil changed. I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed with my exhaust system. It corrodes and usually just takes like a twig to hit the underside of the car and yeah. Get that dreadful droning sound because the metal just overheats and starts corroding under the car a month or so after fix the thing. I've taken it to Honda, taken it to Canadian Tire, taken it to the muffler man. Yeah, various people and it just does the same thing. It's just a decade old car I just have like a over a hundred kilometers on like overall I don't know uh, just drive to work point A point B and over the years yeah haven't gone very far Grand Bend London on through basically where I've gone Nothing too consequential. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody did mention that the these drills are shinier. Uh, are there more facets on these drills, the newer Diamond Art Club drills? Yeah, because I do agree. They do seem to shine a lot more. <laughs> so, yeah, these are really nice looking drills though. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah, I always thought DAC drills looked really nice, so. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get on the treadmill today, but oh well. <laughs> Had to come back to feed the dog. <laughs> yeah, just basically went into the same areas to get my hair cut today. So got there early. Yeah, I walked around uh, a bit before my hair appointment. Still got there early. He. A barber was cutting somebody else's hair, but he took me right after. And I was done by my appointment time. Just <laughs> 3 p.m. So. And shortly after I drove home to my parents' house, my dad came home from work unexpectedly. And then 
one out again and did the subway go to the grocery store to get a salad ate supper had a slice of pie yeah started the dishwasher went to walmart looked for doctor strange multiverse of madness i've seen doctor strange so and yeah i just bought it <laughs> just kind of put it with my suitcase my nephew would probably just lose it if i uh, saw that blu-ray just sitting around oh is this mine did you get it for me I don't know, you get an allowance, bud, so I gotta buy really strange things with your allowance, but it's your money, but I don't even know if he likes Doctor Strange, so I don't mind him. Pretty cool. Has a animated cape, like a cape that moves itself, so <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, this multiverse stuff. Uh, I don't know if Doctor Strange like screws stuff up or I don't. Know. <laughs> it's just portal after portal. I'm not sure that screws time, the time continuing up quite a bit. But yeah. <laughs> I am even seeing Endgame or Avengers Endgame or Infinity War or whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen those two. <laughs> I just watch movies here and there. Yeah. I can tell you the whole synopsis of the Marvel Universe, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched the whole thing in its entirety, but... I'll be okay. I think I've just seen the original Guardians of the Galaxy. So. Yep, there's the barking. There you go, at least I'll let you know ahead of time. Jeez. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah. I just have one more day of it. And then the whipping jacks will be quieter. Muzzle on that thing. Play a dog this time. I don't know. This is definitely not ASMR. This is really annoying. Doggo barking at everything that walks by. Grr. Axel is quieter. <laughs> but Axel was having, putting on quite the oratory performance during supper. Just that deep yowling and clawing at the door that between the main part of the house and the addition. Clawing at the door. Pawing at it. Wanting to get out or get into the black PC grocery store cloth bag that was hanging on the doorknob or something. Axel was just having a time. My cat. <laughs> yeah, I took a couple of pictures. <laughs> a couple whipping chats back. Just look for the whipping chat that says cat photos. It's at the end of that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, somebody wanted me to take photos of the, my cat, so. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a black cat. More can I say? Mmm. Exciting stuff, but hey, it works. Hey, look, I have a cat. Ooh, ah. 
Oh well, it's all good. I can handle taking photos of my cat. I think a really close up picture of my cat's face is on the Samsung phone here. Has a background. <laughs> it's just like whatever. It's uh, big eyes and just having a time. Oh. I don't take too many pictures of stuff, like just the odd section completion on my canvases and kit up kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not heavy into photo taking. Uh, it's just what I need to. <laughs> But yeah, I do love landscape photography and yeah, that kind of stuff, nature stuff. Yeah, yeah, animal photography. Yeah, just love those kind of photos. Oh, that's why I share them on my personal Facebook all the time. It's like those nature. Aurora Borealis Northern Lights stuff, mountains, waterfalls. Yeah, uh, just nice to see. <laughs> they're like, oh, thank you for sharing my photo. It's like, yeah, you put it on Facebook. <laughs> it's, if I like it, then hopefully somebody else will enjoy it. Oh. Hey, help a photographer out. <laughs> Share their work. I think there's one of them that sells their photos as prints or something. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Not that I like go crazy and buy all these pictures, but they're nice to share on social media. <laughs> You kind of have to have wall space for that kind of stuff. Or, I guess you could get like a photo album or something, but... The photographer's name would have to be on the picture and all that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you take photos? Uh, no. <laughs> this is uh, just that photographer. <laughs> they sell prints. That's what I'd be doing, but... <laughs> Nice to have like a digital kind of collection on Facebook that you can like share within seconds of taking a photo. Just that instant access, but instantaneous sharing, but yeah. Most of the time you'd have to like talk to the photographer individually and or message them or whatever to get a print or something of their work but you know they're like message uh, DM me individually to order prints to inquire or whatever so yeah don't do it directly on Facebook so I don't know <laughs> I've only seen really one photographer offer that in a post, but I'm sure you could contact any photographer and just like ask. Like, I'm sure it's possible, but no, well, it all depends. I don't know, it's kind of like selling paintings and all that. I don't know if the artist would like reproduce a painting or they just do like one like the source like the source image the original uh, I guess you could get somebody to take a picture of the art and then sell the uh, the art that way like print art print get those printed off that might be a more viable way to do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Get a sneeze out. Okay, it's not the only dark.
Bell's not the only dog barking in the world. There's another one barking in the distance, but me recording and uh yeah, those dogs only barking is just you know, just let it go at this point. <laughs> it's Thursday for Grail. <laughs> been quite the week. <laughs> I don't know, I at least have a start on this canvas, which is good. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be like diamond painting all the time. I was just kind of knew that I'd, I'd have the opportunity to diamond paint a little bit more, but yeah. What to expect when you have a week off and what actually happens are two very different scenarios. I really don't hold my breath when I have vacation time. What you want to do and what actually happens, yeah, are two very different things. <laughs> and yeah, I don't draw too many high expectations of what I want to do <laughs> too greatly. Yeah, uh, me being here was a lot easier on my brother because he knows me and yeah, <laughs> it worked out. Like, I can be annoyed with the dog all I want, but the fact is the dog's not in a kennel in a totally unfamiliar place for, like, how many hundreds of dollars a day to keep them in a kennel, keep the dog in a kennel. So... This was much easier, and she's in a familiar place. Yeah. She can just chill in a place that she knows. She's not used to me necessarily, but I guess appreciates that I'm here to an extent, I guess. But. <laughs> yeah, as you know, I'm a little more leery of dogs, just the sudden barking. That's all that really bothers me, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bigger dogs, yeah. Probably, yeah, I'd probably be a little nervous under, around bigger dogs. Yeah, <laughs> but... I don't know. <laughs> I usually see fairly or walk around or meet smaller dogs on the my favorite trail in St. Mary's, the Grand Trunk Trail or whatever. Yeah, it's usually just small, manageable sized dogs, but yeah, there's the odd husky or. I don't pet any of the dogs, uh, I just see them, but it's like usually golden retrievers and stuff, labs, and you know, there are a couple huskies, Siberian huskies around. Yeah, reminds me of Kanuko all the time, seeing a husky, but yeah, I still love husky. Even though Kanuka had passed away, natural causes, a few years ago now. I don't remember when she passed away. It was quite a few years ago now. But yeah, just old age was all that was. But yeah, it's it still hurts. <laughs> still hurts when a pet dies. Yeah, I probably reiterated this story a couple times, but yeah. Yeah, that late one night she did one last howl and then she was gone that yeah and 
Yeah, she just passed away right after that. Yikes. Just does not shake out of the mind. It repeats in my head sometimes, but yikes. Yeah, we took down that fence that we had in the backyard behind the house the next day or whatever. It's like, okay, no more pets. Yeah, that's what my dad said. <laughs> like shortly after. Yeah, nah, really close with the husky. Really close with Kanuga. Had been. But yeah. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> but, yeah, lost. Cats have passed away before. I've had to put one down because of a urinary tract infection. That veterinarian, veterinarian building is still there in Stratford. And I drive past it. And, yeah, even though it, the appearance of the building has changed slightly just that whole memory of putting that white cat in the carrier one last time and I was like eight or nine maybe then probably not fully understanding what was going on but I probably had that sense that intuition back then that I didn't realize what it was or maybe empathy, but never really understood it probably fully then, but yeah. The cat was suffering and yeah. I think that's the only pet we ended up euthanizing. Others, a couple others hit by cars. Yeah, I think I've been through all this spoken about this yeah dark stuff on here but yeah it it's a familiar yet sobering reminder that life is finite and the life of an animal is seems even more so because they age faster than human beings do but Yeah, I've lost a couple friends at around age 20, and then you're just, like, young. And going to those funerals or visitations is twice as hard as an older individual. Like, aunts and uncles and stuff, grandparents. You understand that passing a little more because of their age young it's usually like a car accident or something or yeah yeah one of them was a car accident and then I've heard of like just other young people who have no connection with just suddenly passing away because of heart failure a heart defect etc yeah, life is just unpredictable in that fashion. You just never know. But anyway, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile page like my name so you can search me up I guess and uh, yeah it goes color Facebook business page that's a hyperlink and my Instagram handle I guess that's what it's called oh excuse me subway is fighting back yeah subs <laughs> oh excuse me yawning there okay yep and then my walking challenge stuff. That's just the actual websites to where 
I purchased the challenges to do. So yeah, those are not affiliate links. Yeah, I talk about the walking challenges. If I mention like reading on the treadmill or whatever, etc., that's what I mean. That's what I'm just updating about. Yeah. So Lord of the Rings is Conquer. So L O T R. You see that in the description below. My more recent whip and chat has a couple months or so, month or so at least. So yeah. And Silk Road is Pacer. Yeah. So yeah, those are listed there. Those are just like a couple of the challenges available on each website. That's just what I'm working on now. But anyway. Take care, all the best. You'll probably see a completion picture of this second section here. Anyway, take care, all the best with your crafting endeavors, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.